Hello everyone and welcome to this overview of how SSP coordinators can use PMC Track surveys to improve their SSPs management and provide essential information to the AZA community. For this training video, we will be focusing on how to use survey tools on the SSP coordinators dashboard and the task section. When you're preparing to develop a breeding and transfer plan with the PMC or PMC adjunct, you have the opportunity to use two kinds of surveys to gather more information from your IRs, wants and needs, and outcomes. We strongly encourage you to use PMC track surveys to collect your wants and needs from your facilities and understand why certain breeding and transfer recommendations did not occur as planned. These surveys are quick and easy to launch to your IRs with a set of standardized questions as well as the ability to customize the survey with additional questions specific to the needs of your SSP. They provide you and the PMC the essential information needed for planning. Once you have notified the PMC that your stubbook is up to date, We'll be able to set up your surveys and you'll receive an email saying that your surveys are ready for you to launch from PMC Track. When you receive that, you can go to the task section in PMC Track. When you have tasks associated with surveys, either setting them up or taking them, you'll see a red number near the menu item. The task menu will include all tasks you have across all of your roles, so you'll always know what is due if you have many roles within the SSP system. If there are items for you to complete in the task section, then you will see them in a table format with the program name, the task, either wants and needs or outcomes, the due date, and the action you need to take. The task section is home to all survey related items if you are an institutional representative or an SSP coordinator, then this section is very important. To create either the wants and needs or outcome survey, just click on the appropriate link that says create survey. First, we'll look at the wants and needs survey and then the outcome survey. After you've clicked on the link, Proceed through each section header, which will turn green once it's completed, and add additional information as needed. The first section has instructions for how to create the survey. It will also show you your planning meeting date, the survey due date, and the dates for when reminder emails will be sent to your IRs. If for some reason you'd like to change your survey due date, please contact us at pmctrack at lpzoo.org. If you would like to add an introduction or additional information for your IRs, then you can add that to the Species Coordinator Introduction section. This can be a nice way to personalize the survey. The first section in the survey is a table with questions that your IRs will need to answer for each animal they hold in your population. The individuals for each IR are pulled from your updated stub book. The questions in the table are displayed on the screen for you to see. The version your IRs will see will include a full table of the individuals. These questions are detailed so that the PMC can understand which animals should be excluded from genetic analysis, which animals are eligible for breeding, and whether animals have other considerations for management. Also, if any animals have incorrect information or are missing from the table and thus missing from your stub book, the IRS will have the opportunity to add this information. You can add a max of two animal-related questions to this table, which will be mandatory for your IRs to answer. Also remember that if you have a species where holders have large groups, they'll have to respond to your survey questions for all their animals individually, which can take a lot of time. You should weigh whether you need the information for each animal 
or if it could be a more general question for the IR to answer in the second half of the survey. You have to set a timeline for how long you expect facilities in your SSP to hold their offspring after birth or hatch. This is the only mandatory section that you must fill out before launching the survey. The second half of the survey has general questions. If you click the Show Standard Questions link, it will show you the question format. Your IRs will answer about their facilities priorities for the species, their capacity to complete breeding and transfer recommendations in the upcoming planning cycle, and their short to long-term plans for the species. Also, you can add questions specific to the husbandry or management of your SSP. Once you are finished, then you can preview a PDF version of your survey and return to correct any errors if needed. Finally, click Send Surveys to launch the surveys to your IRs. If it is grayed out, then you still have sections to complete. Your IRs will receive an email with important survey information and a link to log into PMC Track to complete their surveys before the survey due date. Now, let's talk about the outcome surveys. PMC Track calculates outcomes by comparing the recommendations from the previous plan to your updated stubbook to determine if these recommendations were fulfilled. And you can see those fulfillment rates on the graphs on your SSP coordinator dashboard under recommendation outcomes. If you have outcomes, we strongly encourage the use of outcome surveys at the same time you launch your wants and needs surveys. The surveys are only sent to IRs with unfulfilled recommendations. They give your IRs an opportunity to respond with more details about why the recommendation in question did not occur, helping you understand what has happened since your last plan. Even if you are familiar with why a recommendation did not occur, these surveys represent important data that we are trying to gather across all SSPs, which benefits the AZA community, so we are strongly encouraging all SSPs to use these surveys if they are eligible. Your task page may have up to four outcome surveys to set up, one for each recommendation type, such as send to or breed with. You will not see a survey setup link if all of the recommendations of a certain type were fulfilled. Please complete survey setup for each one that you have a link for. Let's look at a breed with outcome survey. The first section has instructions for how to create the survey and will also show you which recommendation type the survey is for. This is for an unfulfilled breed with recommendation. The outcome surveys are very quick and simple. Now, let's look at the outcome survey from the IR perspective. When an IR sees the survey, they will see their animal's individual recommendation, and how it was scored based on the events from the stub book during the time since the final plan was sent. Below that, the survey will ask them to select one primary and secondary reason as to why the recommendation was unfulfilled. Now back to the SSP coordinator's view. This section allows you to view those primary and secondary reasons that the IR can choose from 
to elaborate why the specific recommendation type did not occur as planned. If desired, you can add an additional question to the survey. This might be re relevant to especially relevant for breed with surveys. For example, you could ask facilities whether they provided particular exhibit elements that might be important to the breeding biology of your species. Once you are finished, you can preview a PDF version of your survey and return to correct any errors if needed. Finally, click Send Surveys to launch the survey to your IRs. If it is grayed out, then you still have sections to complete. Your IRs will receive an email with important survey information and a link to log into PMC Track to complete their surveys before the due date. Please remember to go back to your task list and make sure there are no other outcome surveys that need to be launched. Now, let's look at your dashboard. After you have launched your surveys, the system has great tools to help you track sur survey progress and improve response rate, including sending automatic reminders to your IRs as the survey due date approaches. Here, you can see wh when the reminders will be sent out to your IRs. Easy graphs and tables summarizing which IRs have responded. You can use these graphs as a quick visual to your survey response rate. We also understand that it is difficult to get some IRs to respond through the website. You also have the ability to take surveys for IRs if you speak with them and get their responses. Under the survey review list, you can complete surveys for IRs under the Take Survey link. And you can view IR responses for those who have completed the survey by clicking on the View Survey PDF. You can use this table to figure out which IRs have not responded and might need reminders from you as you get closer to the due date. Finally, PMC, using PMC Track means that all of your current and historic survey responses are stored in a central location, making them easy to find and refer to over time. You can use these three links to view and export the reports that summarize your survey results. So that's it for the overview of how you can use PMC Track surveys to improve your SSP's management and provide essential information to the AZA community. If you have any questions, please email us at pmctrack at lpzoo.org. Thank you.